a lot of people are harboring this fear. I've had loads and loads of people who are who are afraid to play in front of other people. And my question to you is, why does their opinion really matter? Hi everyone, how are we doing? So this is actually one of the first vlogs I'm doing. I want to just change up the channel a little bit, just so I can get more content out. I spent a lot of time trying to make arrangements and write pieces of music and teach people in a way that I never teach in my um, private lessons, I guess, in my, with all my students who I see face to face. Through YouTube, I've always done things like the Three Easy Song videos. If you subscribe to me or you're on this channel, you probably have seen the Three Easy Songs video. It's, it went, you know, in saxophone terms, kind of viral. It's one of the first saxophone videos to get over a million views, which I'm really, really happy about. It's great because it's given so much exposure and whatnot, but I suppose I kind of got crushed under the whole um, obligation of making videos regularly that follow the same kind of theme as Three Easy Songs, which for saxophone playing doesn't really work. I didn't learn like that. I didn't learn by someone telling me this is a B, this is an A, and this is a G. Because it doesn't, it doesn't really give you anything long lasting. It's a quick fix, it's a shortcut. And the trouble with shortcuts is it's like, take, it's like putting a cheat code into a game. If you take the shortcuts, you, you don't get the same satisfaction as if you'd worked through it yourself and found the right path. And also you can't replicate it. You don't learn the same skills that you learn from working things out from yourself, by yourself. Um, I've got a few students who've, sp who've spoken to me as well and they they haven't watched the Three Easy Songs video, for example. They haven't watched it because, well, they don't need it. They don't need me to tell them to play a G here and an E here for a really simple song. And, and the reason they don't need me for that is because I've empowered them in my private lessons to be able to use their ears, use intervals, not, not, they don't need perfect pitch or extremely good relative pitch, but they know how to work on these things to work out tunes for themselves. And really, I feel like I've done YouTube a little bit of a disservice by not allowing to you all teaching you guys in the same way. So I want to do a few different things with the channel now. I'm going to start making a lot more of these kind of vlog things where I want to start tying in kind of my, what I do as a professional into this to hopefully have a bit of fun, inspire you guys, have a chat with you, build more of a community rather than me just giving you the notes to certain songs, which I don't think is very useful for anyone. One thing I wanted to cover in this video is, is this idea of fear. A lot of people have fear of how they're kind of perceived. The thing about teaching, um, sorry, playing musical instruments, especially especially saxophone in a way, is that a lot of you have waited until later in life after your careers, you know, have settled down and you're a bit happier in your careers or you've retired. And you take the sax up and you're you're used to a lot of success because you're an expert at a particular a particular thing that you've been doing. You know, I've I teach, you know, when you go for my students, it's quite funny because I've got I've got students with OBEs, I've got students with knighthoods, I've got students who run multi-million dollar companies, I've got students who are doctors, lawyers, dentists, you know, I've taught all these people, but the common kind of denominator is that they all come from this this very high either a high pressure background or knowing something that or doing something that they know really well and then coming to saxophone as a hobby but putting the same amount of pressure on themselves when they play the saxophone that they would be if you know like my surgeon he'd got his patient open up on the table and he's putting himself under the same amount of pressure with a hobby that he would in that environment and um, I've been running the Rhythm Mastery Live training for the last two weeks now. We're in the second week. If you want to join it, I'd love, absolutely love to see you there. It's all about being able to count, feel rhythm, all those kind of things. I'm not going to plug it in this video. Um, I'll put a link to it below. So if you're interested in improving your rhythm, you can click down below. But my point with this was that I've had 
people message me before the session starts saying, Dan, I'm sorry, I'm not coming tonight because I've seen that people are playing, have been playing for a bit longer than I have and I feel a bit embarrassed about about actually coming on camera and showing you and I suppose exposing myself in a, in, in a, in a non-funny way, you know, but they don't want to show us what they can do. And I, and the Rhythm Matter of Life isn't like, isn't about that anyway, but it kind of made me think that a lot of people are harboring this fear. I've had loads and loads of people who are, who are afraid to play in front of other people. And my question to you is, why does their opinion really matter? So, does it matter what other people think of your playing? You're the only person who's responsible for your playing and the more you play, the better you will get. So don't put yourself under the pressure of, oh, someone, you know, having someone hear me and judge me is going to stop me from doing what I love doing because you wouldn't do that in any other aspect of life. If you wanted to lose weight, you'd go to the gym. You wouldn't worry what people were going to think of you. You'd just go to the gym. I know some people do, but you'd have it in your mind that you wanted to get better. So you'd just, or, or fitter, or look better, or whatever. you just go and do it. And it's the same with the saxophone as well. If you want to get better, there's only one way to do it, and that's to play. And the more you put yourself in awkward or more challenging situations, like, for example, coming to a live masterclass, the better you're going to get. You are not going to be ridiculed. If you are ever ridiculed in a group, then you're in the complete wrong group. And you never will be. I don't know anyone who's gone somewhere and, and been ridiculed for their playing. It just does not happen. Everybody has been there at some stage. And especially in the musical sense, we all need to be inspired. We all need to hear great music. We need to listen more. We don't, none of us listen enough to music. If you want to get good at music, there's only one way of doing that, and that's listening to music all the time. But don't be afraid of what others think. Think on the flip side. I had a, I've got a student who's very who's very um, afraid of her brother listening or, or hearing to her because he always gives these little comments about, oh, is she playing that, that instrument again? Or, oh, she's at that racket again. He's only kind of ribbing her, but she's she's so she's in such a place where she feels a bit vulnerable and she's not totally comfortable with the playing that she doesn't want those kind of comments and she's finding them quite destructive. So what I said to her was, well, what about if you flip it on its head? What happens if he came in and said you were amazing? You're the best sax player in the planet. Does that matter? Well, it probably doesn't because if you don't feel as a, if you individually don't feel as a, a great sax player, or you don't feel that like you're as, as good as you could be yet, then if someone tells you you're amazing when you know deep down that, well, I don't think I am yet, well, that doesn't matter yet. But that's not destructive. That's quite, you know, we kind of ignore those kind of, oh, you're so good when you know that, oh, I could have done that better. We ignore those comments, but we're not so happy with ignoring comments about criticism. But really, they're the same thing. They're someone else's opinions that don't affect us in any way. And we really shouldn't let them because the only thing that matters, the one thing is that you're enjoying yourself and that if you enjoy yourself, you will move forward. You've got a routine. You're picking the sax up. You're playing lots and lots. So over the next coming weeks, I'm going to start filming more of my own practice sessions because I think you're going to enjoy I think you'll enjoy it. I think you'll enjoy seeing how I practice, how I try and improve myself, what I'm working on. And I think you'll get some very useful tips out of it as well. As well as I just want to show you a little bit about what I'm doing and how I'm going about things in, in other areas of life as well because I'm not all about music. I'm quite... You know, I've got a few different businesses that I enjoy to run and I, I like running businesses. I like keeping fit. Not that I look like it most of the time, but I do enjoy keeping fit. You know, I've got a family. I've got a massive into gymnastics at the moment with my son who's who's moving. Well, I'm, I'm trying to help him kind of be as good a gymnast as he can be. But there's all these different aspects of kind of the life. And it was very difficult in these YouTube videos to do to focus on one thing in particular, just the notes. And I think actually... It's a shame that I haven't connected to more of you. I've connected to quite a few people on YouTube in, 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 in real life, if you like, through Skype lessons and all that kind of thing. And they're really good friends of mine now. I've, But it's only the people who've had the confidence to reach out to me. And I'd like that to be more. I'd like to reach out to more of you, to be honest. And I'd like more of you to feel like you can reach out to me. So hopefully... This vlog idea will knock down some of the barriers and also you'll get something really useful out of it. So, put other people's thoughts to one side. Don't let them get in your way. 
it's only one person who's answerable to how your progress is going and how much you're enjoying the instrument and that's you their thoughts don't matter don't let any negative comments put you off at all just enjoy yourself find a practice routine that enjoys that helps you to get the most out of this amazing instrument so please like share subscribe whatever you like if you found this vlog useful please you know do all the things with the socials, smash the bell button, all that kind of thing. Um, and leave me a comment about what you'd like to see on the Satscasts YouTube channel because it's very, it can be quite quite isolated in a way, this YouTube business. I often think on the morning, oh, what video shall I do today? And do a little bit of research into what questions people are asking, go through the emails, all that kind of thing. But it's much, it makes my life much more fun and much more enjoyable when people reach out to me with questions. So if you've got something that you'd like me to cover or focus on more in this YouTube channel, then please leave a comment down below and I'll do it. Right, I'll leave it there for now then guys. Thanks for watching. I catch you in the vlog series and the upcoming SATS lessons that are coming very soon. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I appreciate it. See you soon, bye.